I bought all the fragrances from Zara once again so that you don't have to. Which of these fragrances are worth getting and which deserve to go in the trash? Let's find out. Now I have tried these fragrances before so I could give you the most accurate review and tell you about how they wear, how long they last, all that good stuff. First up, we have a bunch of perfume oils from L'Art des Ingredients collection. I'm very excited about these because they seem to be a more premium offering for Zara and since they're perfume oils, AKA they have a higher concentration in perfume, they should last longer technically. Though unfortunately, this isn't the case. They last around four to seven hours max on my skin, so just be aware of that. Let's start off with Ombre Inspirant. All these perfume oils come in a rollable applicator. This fragrance is delicious. It's as if you had just taken out of the oven a warm vanilla sponge cake and then you added some candied lemons on top. So it's citrusy, it's warm, it's sweet, and a really addictive gourmand. I'd say it's a hybrid between Lyra from Zerjoff and Musque Ravageur from Frédéric Mal, minus the musky skankiness. So overall, this is a pretty good fragrance. I would rate it higher if it wasn't for the fact that it only lasted on my skin for five hours. If you are a fan of gourmand fragrances, I do recommend you check this one out. Emblématique Vetiver. Now this one is a fresh and bright take on Vetiver, though it still does have this woody, earthy notes that overall is just a really pretty fragrance. This is giving me Terre d'Hermès vibes, very nice in the opening. Unfortunately, the dry down is disappointing. It has terrible longevity. So for this reason, I'm putting this fragrance in the all right category. Next, we have the Inestimable Santal. And oh my goodness, if you love sweet sandalwood fragrances, this is going to be for you. When I smelt it for the first time, I was mind blown. This is everything that I like in a sandalwood. It is milky, it is sweet, warm and comforting. Think of it as a hot milk infused with vanilla extract. It is an addictive perfume. The drawback again with this fragrance is its longevity on my skin it lasts four hours, which is really appalling for a woody fragrance, let alone a perfume oil. So this is why I am putting this fragrance in the all right category. And I've saved the best for last. It is Royal Tuberuse. If you are a fan of Rouge Malakite by Armani Privé, you need to run. Ladies, don't walk, run to Zara and buy this perfume. This is a 10 out of 10 fragrance and is very close to Rouge Malakite. Is it the same thing? No. In my opinion, Rouge Malakite is the queen of sexy, balmy white florals. But if you want a more affordable alternative, Royal Tubereuse does the job. Highly recommend this perfume so far. This one is my favorite new Zara fragrance. We have a flanker for Red Temptation. It is the summer edition. Now Zara have been milking the Baccarat Rouge DNA by Maison Francisque Urgent with Red Temptation, which is essentially a dupe for it. And they're milking it again by making this packaging red and gold. But don't be fooled, the summer edition is an entirely different fragrance and has nothing to do with Baccarat Rouge. With notes of peony, amber, and perline, this is a gentle, soft, floral musky scent that is so pretty and is a perfect scent for the future brides. If you are into fragrances such as Parfum de Marly Velaya or Fleur Narcotique by Ex Nihilo or even Fashionably London, this perfume is gonna be right up your alley. On my skin, it lasts around six to seven hours, so I'm gonna be putting it in the pretty good category and I have a feeling that this is gonna be the next bestseller from Zara. So ladies, Grab it while you can. Now, if there's one fragrance that seriously gives me the ick, it is Coastal Salty Forest. This smells like washed up seaweed and sea foam where the seaweed has been marinating on a hot summer day all day on the beach. Do you wanna smell like seaweed? I think not. This smells disgusting. It's a pass. Save your money on this one. So Zara have launched a newish collection of splashes which are eau de toilette concentration and you're getting 200 ml of product in each bottle. Bottles are bigger, more product, but the concentration is lower. I don't know why Zara would do that because the fragrances are already really weak. But anyways, I have Fizzy Breeze Splash and Yellow Velvet Splash. Yellow Velvet Splash immediately made me think of Cloud by Ariana Grande. 
I have this fragrance in my collection. I tested the two on my skin and I would say that Yellow Velvet Splash is a pretty good dupe for it. Compared to Cloud, Yellow Velvet Splash is thicker and denser and is giving off a whipped vanilla cream effect. So it's really creamy, very strong on the vanilla, but overall smells really good. And surprisingly, the longevity is fantastic especially given that this is an eau de toilette. On my skin, it lasts eight to nine hours, which is amazing. Personally, I prefer Cloud by Ariana Grande, but Yellow Velvet Splash is a pretty good fragrance. Fizzy Breeze, on the other hand, is a bit of a disaster. This, to me, smells like a super synthetic, fruity electrolyte drink. It is not a good look, it doesn't smell good, this is a pass. Next, we have Peony. Now, despite what I've been seeing online as Peony being a dupe for Holy Peony by Dior or Idole by Lancôme, this is not a dupe for these fragrances. This is a standard fruity floral with a creamy vanilla base. It smells nice, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's really nothing outstanding. This DNA has been done to death. So in my opinion, this perfume is redundant and I would recommend spending your money on something else. Exotic Mimosa. The wooden cap is a nice touch, I have to say. And this is a fresh, powdery, delicate mimosa fragrance. Imagine a breeze brushing over some blossoms in spring and you get this soft, petal-like, honeyed scent lingering in the air. This is what this perfume is about. It reminded me immediately of a Prada fragrance or line of fragrances, the Infusion series. It has the same elegance and delicate femininity and on my skin it lasts around six hours. So if you ask me, this is a pretty good fragrance. If you are into the Infusion line from Prada, I recommend you check this fragrance out. From the men's section, we have For Him Red Edition. Now, this is yet another Baccarat Rouge dupe. However, this is a dupe, I would say, more for the X-ray. And in my opinion, this smells a hundred times better than Red Temptation, which is found in the ladies section. This is the one that I would recommend you go for if you're looking for a fantastic Baccarat Rouge dupe. There is no screechiness, it's much better blended, and for me, this is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Although it is marketed towards men, I find this perfume to be 100% unisex, and on my skin, it lasts between eight to nine hours, so yes, I would recommend this one. Next up, we have Imperial Purple. Gentlemen, you're going to love this if you like fragrances such as Dior Homme, Valentino Womo, and Givenchy Gentleman. You will find that it has that similar powdered iris DNA that is blended with a sexy, sweet, woody base. This is a 10 out of 10 fragrance. And on my skin, it lasts around six to seven hours. This is a luxurious fragrance. It definitely smells more expensive than it is. So yeah, I urge you to get this one. Next up, we have Magnificent Black. I am sad to report that this isn't a magnificent perfume. Now this perfume is a fruity, woody fragrance that is very similar in scent profile to Ebony Wood, which is also by by Zara. You're going to get this tangy, kind of berry-like fruity opening with a darkness of woods that is so beautiful, but unfortunately this fragrance falls flat on its face in the dry down. It just lacks character and is kind of disappointing. I've seen better, so I would recommend you go for Ebony Wood over Magnificent Black and spend your money on other fragrances within this line. And I saved the best for last, Majestic Green. Now if you are fans of creamy, milky, Milky almond fragrances, this perfume is going to be for you. I adore this fragrance. Oh, this is so, so good. If you like, for example, Italica by Zerzhov, but you didn't like the way that it sits on your skin because it was maybe a little bit too much, too dense and too thick, I find that Majestic Green is the perfect solution for that. It has notes of vanilla, sandalwood, cardamom, pepper, and cedarwood. Such a cozy, comforting fragrance. This is a 10 out of 10 must-have fragrance from Zara, for sure. And the great news is that this is a long-lasting fragrance. On my skin, it lasts around 10 hours, which is fantastic. I mean, what more do you need? This wraps up today's video, and if you wanna see more Zara fragrance reviews, you can click here or here, wherever it pops up on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, spread the fragrant love.